Hello there SpyBot users and welcome back to the Safer Networking YouTube channel. My name is Rob from Team SpyBot and I'm here today to bring you another video in our web series of tutorials and instructional videos. Today's video will be Disabling the Server Message Block Version 1 Protocol on Windows 7 using PowerShell. Due to security concerns and in light of the recent spread of ransomware infections such as WannaCry, it is recommended to disable the Server Message Block Version 1 Protocol or SMB. So let's get started with today's tutorial. So welcome to today's video on Disabling the Server Message Block Version 1 Protocol on Windows 7 using PowerShell. These steps also apply to Windows 8 and Windows Vista. So if you are a user of Windows 8 or Windows Vista, please follow the tutorial instructions to disable SMB version 1. To begin today's video, I would like to direct you to the article which I have now loaded in my browser, which will be our guide to help us in today's video. So please open up this article by clicking on the description below or copy the URL shown in the address bar of my browser. This article goes through all of the reasons why SMB is considered insecure and outdated and why it should be disabled as well as the key advantages of later versions of SMB. Please read this article for more information about the server message block protocol, and you can check out similar articles in the description below. So once you have read through the article and understand the importance of disabling SMB version 1, please scroll down to the section of this article where it says, On Legacy Operating Systems. Then click the link to enter the web page showing how to disable SMB version 1 on Windows 8, 7, and Windows Vista. Once this page is loaded, scroll down to where it says how to enable or disable SMB protocols on the SMB client. We will be using PowerShell in Windows 7 to demonstrate how to disable SMB version 1 on legacy operating systems. PowerShell is a more advanced version of the Windows command prompt. To use Microsoft PowerShell, click Start, then type PowerShell into the Windows search bar. Right-click on Windows PowerShell in the results list, then choose Run as Administrator to run PowerShell with administrator privileges. Select Yes when prompted by the user account control to allow PowerShell to run, then wait for PowerShell to load. Before entering the command, you must check that you have Quick Edit and Insert Mode enabled in PowerShell. To do this, right-click on the top of the PowerShell window, then click on Properties. Under Edit Options, please tick the checkbox for Quick Edit Mode and Insert Mode if it has not already been ticked. This allows us to easily copy and paste commands into PowerShell. Click OK, then return to the PowerShell prompt. Please copy the command which is listed in bold under where it says to disable SMB version 1 client run the following commands. Then run the command using the Windows PowerShell. Simply right click on the mouse and the command that we had previously copied should appear in PowerShell. Then press enter to run the command. The command should be completed within a few seconds. After you have entered and run the command please restart your PC to allow the changes to take effect. To do this right click on the start button then click the arrow beside shut down then choose Restart to reboot your PC. You should see the Configuring Windows update screen before and after your PC reboots. Once your PC has reloaded, SMB version 1 should be disabled. And with that we can conclude today's video tutorial. So that's it for today's video on Disabling Server Message Block Version 1 Protocol on Windows 7 using PowerShell. I'd like to thank you all for watching and hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, or you can leave a comment in the comment section below. Or you can get in touch by sending an email to teamspybot at spybot.info, or by using the request support page on the support center on our website. I've been Rob from Team Spybot, thanks again for watching, stay safe, keep on searching, keep on destroying. See you guys soon.